I promise that I'm not an idiot. I'm not an idiot. I said, I just couldn't get words out. Moish, Moash, I don't even know how to pronounce this guy's name. And to be 100% honest, I don't really care because Mosh is just the worst. In this video, we're going to be going over all of the reasons why he sucks, why he is a dumb, stupid Kremlin, and also why he is bad. Reason 1. Kaladin gives Mash a set of shard plate and shard blade after helping Adeline in their 1v4 turned 2v4 turned 2.5v4 duel during Words of Radiance, and he just up and leaves with them after trying to kill Elhakar during the climax of the book. What a tool! Reason 2 This guy is like straight up obsessed with killing our boy Elhakar. Sure, Elhakar was kind of a dingus about the whole Rishon situation, but Moshe doesn't even think through the ramifications of killing a king who has been barely holding the Alethi kingdom together as it is. How much war and bloodshed would have happened if Elhakar was killed in the first two books? A lot, that's how much. Do you even think through these things, Moth? Do you? No, obviously not. Idiot. Ugh. Reason 3 He's a poopy head. Reason four. Mesha's friends are seriously, like, really sketchy in book two. Turns out they're full-on members of the diagram and are just using him to get to Elhakar. Really? You didn't see this coming? You didn't stop and think, hmm, these guys are pretty sketchy and maybe I should take a few steps back from them. And what did you get from it when you ran off with them at the end of the book? Get what you storming. <sighs> Reason five. Uh, even thinking about this guy is making my head hurt. So basically, he's the reason I get migraines. Kellogg above this dude is the human equivalent of an elbow, am I right? Reason six. Sweet Polly, this dude just straight up sucks, man. Ugh. Reason seven. Elhakar spent most of Oathbringer learning how to be a better king and generally growing as a person, going so far as to infiltrate Kolinar with our Radiant team and doing what he could to help them win back his capital. He makes substantial character progression in the first few books and has even started down the path to bonding a cryptic and becoming a Lightweaver. It's been confirmed that the first truth he would have spoken as a Lightweaver would have gone something like, I am a bad king. Which, yeah, that tracks, because he was pretty bad at being a king. We'll never get to see him speak these truths and form a radiant bond, though, because Mesh just up and kills him. This guy. Reason 8. It takes him about, like, three seconds to give in to Odium, and he might even become Odium's champion, whatever that means. I I don't even care, and I don't want to think about it, and I just... <sighs> this, uh, this is the worst. Reason 9. He straight up kills Jezrian, a herald that spent literally hundreds of years being tortured for the good of Roshar, and then takes up his stolen honor blade. What in damnation, dude? Super not cool. Reason 10. Moish probably has a stupid face. As you can see, Moish sucks and is dumb. If Sanderson tries to give him a redemption arc, I vote we revolt. But. I mean, he'd probably write it so well that we would have to be like, okay, okay, I see what you did there, Sando. <sighs> Good work, well played. <sighs> but in the meantime, I think we can all agree, Moash just plain sucks. <laughs>